Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. This is going to be our most comprehensive step-by-step -step video on how to flash your stock radio. I'm going to show you how to download the software from Techno Research, how to connect it to your motorcycle, as well as which flash to do so you're completely set up for one of Volunteer Audio's plug-and-play packages and ready to install one of our amps. I'm also going to show you how to turn on your Apple CarPlay so that it'll work without having a WIM installed. So hang out as I show you exactly how to do this. I hope it helps you a lot. All right, so I wanna go over what you're gonna get when you rent a Techno Research Flash Tool from Volunteer Audio, or if you wanna purchase it, what you get when you purchase it. I also wanna go over what you're gonna need, so let's start here first. Uh, I'm working currently on a 2022 Triglide. If you've got a 21 or newer, you need one set of connections. If you have a 14 to 20, you need a different connection. Uh, but when you rent a tool from us, it's gonna have a little drop down. You're gonna select which year range bike you have to make sure you get the right cables. First, you're gonna get your Techno Research Programmer. So this is really a module that connects to your computer. It's going to come with, come with a USB cable also to attach it to the computer. The other part you're going to get is going to be that connection for your specific year range bike. 21 and newer is going to have this red connector, as you see here in this package, and we'll show you here in a minute where to connect it on the bike. If you had a 14 to 20, it's going to be a gray six pin connector uh, also in the same location on the bike, but just a different connector. So we want to make sure you put in the right year. You're also going to get this piece of paper from us. Now, by the time you watch this video, this license code is going to be used. So don't think you can type this in and it's going to work. It's not going to, but we're going to send you out a license code. These are one time use. Uh, I want to be clear on what one-time use is. It means it will work on your bike and your bike only. It will work on your bike multiple times. It will be married to your VIN number of your bike. So this is once you get the software, and I'll show you here in a minute how to load it in, how to put this in, but you will have to enter this code. Most likely it will not be already preloaded on your module or in your computer. So keep this piece of paper. Don't throw it away. These codes are expensive to get another one. We're also going to have on here where to go, and to download the software. It's going to tell you here, go to technoresearch.info, go to support, download the software. I'm fixing to show you how to do that on our computer as well. You're going to plug it into the computer. You're also, once it's done, we're going to go through and show you where to put in the license code. And I think these directions are pretty complete, but a lot of people are having some trouble with them. So I want to go over with actual video and show you a little bit more in depth. We also show you which flash to do on the back of this page. It's the six speaker upper lower saddlebag two amp flash. This is a factory default boom flash. Now I want to also cover the fact you're going to see there's some options for Wild Boar, J&M, Kicker, Rockford Sound, some other brands that have their own flashes and there's a debate. Everybody's got an opinion on what flash is the best flash to do on your bike. Uh, at Volunteer Audio, we've took an RTA, we've measured the before and after of each one of these flashes, and we've decided that the best flash that flattens our EQ the best and does a lot of other steps at the same time is the six speaker boom audio flash. Now understand the Rockford flash, the j &M flash, the Sounds flash, all of these flashes are factory Harley flashes that they've named something else to make it easier for you to find the one they want you to use. Uh, we don't do that. We haven't named one volunteer audio. Maybe we will in the future, but for now, uh, look on the back of this page and it's gonna show you exactly which flash to do. And when you do this flash, your amp that you buy from volunteer audio is completely pre-tuned for this flash. Our gains are set for it, the filters are set for it. It makes it completely plug and play and will give you the best overall result. All right, so let's get to our computer. Uh, there's a few more things on here about how to do Apple CarPlay and such, but definitely look at this as reference when you're gonna do uh, your flashing of your radio. So now let's get to our computer. All right, so first off, you're gonna have to have a computer. It does have to be a PC and it needs to have an internet connection. So you can use a laptop or you could use a desktop. We choose to use a laptop because it's gonna be out in our garage. So make sure you have an internet connection and the first place you're gonna go to is technoresearch.info. Now, if you go to technoresearch.com, it's gonna redirect you here, but this is where you need to be. Once you get here, go to support, go to downloads, Click on downloads and you're gonna see now Techno Research Software, 250 megabyte. Um, that is gonna be the one that we need to do. So simply click download now. 
and then we're going to wait for it to download. So it is a pretty large file. Uh, depending on the internet connection, this is going to take different amounts of time. So we're going to wait and see as this downloads. All right, so it took a while, but we have our 250 megabyte download completed. Uh, now that it's here in our download tab and it says it's done, we just have to click open file. This is going to say check no research shop tools. We're going to tell our computer it's okay to make changes. All right, now we're just going to answer each one of these questions. The destination folder, it's going to have all of this pretty much pre-set up for us. I'm going to click install. And if you notice, at this point, we've not even plugged in our Techno Research module yet. And I don't want you to do that until we get all the software loaded in. So while we're waiting on this install, let me go over a few other features. Uh, first off, I want you to know Harley dealerships cannot do what this tool can do. Uh, we can do any of the factory Harley flashes without having to have the factory boom amplifier installed. Your Harley dealer is limited because if the Harley uh, ECM does not see the boom amplifier on the CAN lines, so CAN's computer area network, if it doesn't see it on those, uh, it will not let them do the flash for the boom audio flashes, so that limits them to two flashes, stock two speaker, stock four speaker. They can't do the other parts where it fixes the EQ or attenuates it for the amp. Now it's come up and said it needs to install some drivers, we're just going to say extract and install. Follow what it says up here, got to accept some agreements, continuing forward and letting those drivers get it put in, hit finish. Now we're going to restart our computer. All right, so now our computer is restarted. Uh, we're going to click our techno research icon on our desktop. Yes, we're going to allow you to make modifications to our computer. So here's what we are expecting to see. So when we have internet connected, uh, you're going to see this little box is going to load up with kind of an ad from Techno Research. It does require internet for that to load. We're also going to see here that it says Centurion Audio, uh, and we're going to click on Centurion Audio. That's the top one on the left side. I'm going to double click that. It's going to normally bring up a second window. It's actually telling us because it's new, it needs a software update already. So it's going to do this software update. So I'll let this update and we'll come back to you here in just a minute. All right, so our update has finally updated. So uh, let's click again up here at our diagnostic tab. After the update, it just rebooted the software back to where we were. So we're going to go down here and we're going to click accept. All this says is this is to be used by trained professionals. And if you do something to mess your bike up, it's not Techno Research's fault. Um, I've never had that happen, but you know, that's what they say. So that's what it is. Let's hit our language English and that will continue us forward. And now it's going to say you haven't plugged in your device. So we're going to move forward and we're going to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and get our USB cable out. We're going to get our module out. You can see on the end, there's a USB connection. I'm just going to plug that in and plug that into our computer. Now your drivers should have already been loaded in as part of the setup. All right, so now we're plugged in. Let's launch it again. Now it says Alaris. We're gonna hit accept, hit English. All right, so this is the screen we were hoping to see. This is where we are going to do our radio speaker configuration. Uh, this is what it's going to be preset to. It's what's going to come up. And if you were to scroll down on this side, you're going to see all these other options, including the one that we normally tell you to do, the six speaker upper lower fairing saddlebag uh, flash. But before we can do that, we need to enter in our license code. So if we'll go up here to this top bar where it says file, view, options, utilities, you'll see it says license. So click license. That's going to bring up here and it's going to say add pay per bike license. You want to click that. And here is where we're going to see if we have a license. You see there's not one loaded. So we're going to click add license. And now we have to put in the code that we gave you on the paper. Now this is cap sensitive. So we're going to make sure and put in this entire code just as you see it here. Two, five. 
dash zero two eight F eight three D nine zero E dash five three one three. So after I had to put a license code in in probably a year because we do a yearly license on our setups that we normally use here in the shop. All right, so look at there. Just by actually putting in exactly what it says and putting the dashes in, we now have a license. And so now we're good. So now all I do is hit OK. When I actually select the license, it says available. OK works. Now we've loaded our license in. So let's move to our bike and let's get connected to it and I'll show you how to do the flash. All right, so I'm gonna show you where to connect it on your bike. Now we're blessed to be working on this beautiful 2022 Triglide. Uh, it's brand new and it's super clean. Uh, but if you had a road glide, a street glide, an ultra, an electric glide, uh, it's gonna be a little different on where you get this. It is gonna be on this side of the seat, on the left side of your bike, right in front of your bag. This being a triglide, it has no bag. And you will need to take your bag loose, lean it out or remove it to remove the side panel over top of your fuse panel. Once we get this off, it's the same way. On this triglide, you simply just pull out on this panel and remove it, so that easy. Now, this being a 22, 21 and newer, are gonna have a red connector. You're gonna see this connector down here at the bottom of your fuse box. So you just press in on this tab and slide it out and plug in the connector that we've sent you. It's gonna mate up and then plug that into the mating connection on the Alaris box here. So now we're plugged in and all we need to do now is turn on the ignition of our bike. Once you turn on the ignition, my, my computer actually made a noise letting me know that we were connected. We'll make sure that our radio's turned all the way down. All right, so here's what we wanna do. First step, we wanna flash our actual uh, radio. All right, so I just wanted you to see where we're at in case you get confused. Up here it says speaker configuration, we're in the right place. Infotainment and radio has been selected and default has been selected. That gives us this list. We've scrolled all the way down to six speaker, upper, lower fairing, saddlebag, two amps. The next step is we're just gonna click this hand here, which is gonna flash our radio. You're gonna see it says connecting, it gives us some numbers, and here it should say connecting here shortly, or setting, okay, so it says setting, and when it's done, it's gonna say passed. So this flash does four things at once. Now on this bike, we already had rear speakers on, but if it didn't, it would have turned on our rear speakers. It's also gonna correct the EQ. It's got a really uh, boosted bass curve from the factory. And so it's took care of that. At the same time, it's also attenuated or turned down our radio some so that we have a better input for our amplifier. Uh, it's done that as well. It also made the EQ quit changing with the bike running. So now our EQ is gonna stay the same whether our bike's on or off. So uh, whether the engine's on or off. So now it says turn off ignition, wait 13 seconds. So we're gonna do that. All right, so after that I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna turn my ignition back on. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually flash the radio for Apple CarPlay to work without a WIM installed. So go up here to the top where it says speaker configuration, change it to audio outputs and nav, enable and disable. Now go here where it says Bluetooth, Phone, WIM, CarPlay. Click this hand. Now it's gonna say, what do you wanna do? So click WIM, W-H-I-M for CarPlay, and then hit enable. Same step, now we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna view it, say setting, and then it should say passed when it's done. This is the best way to enable your Apple CarPlay. Uh, we do sell a jumper that will plug in behind the radio, and it works well on 19s and 20s, but what we've seen is the 21 and 22 models. Uh, it doesn't work quite as well. It's kind of inconsistent if you just use a jumper where every time we flash it, it works really well. So as you see here, setting and pass, same thing. We're going to turn our ignition off. Now we're going to wait 13 seconds and turn our ignition on, and at that point, we're done. So that simple, we flash the radio. We're just gonna plug our connector back into our side panel, put our covers back on, and we're gonna move on to building this bike. But thank you for watching this video. I hope it really helped you. I hope it showed you exactly step-by-step, step, as concise as we could, how to flash your radio. 
uh, and definitely watch our other video where we show you why we flash the radio. So if you got those questions, definitely comment below, like this video. When you like a video, it helps the algorithm on YouTube to other people to be able to find our videos as well. It helps our channel and thank you so much for watching and supporting us. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to rent this tool, go to volunteeraudio.com, go to our motorcycle section and under tools, you'll see that we rent it. Uh, what you do is you basically pay for it up front, and once you return it, we refund uh, a pretty large portion of that, which all those details are inside the listing. If you decide you just want to keep it, you can do this over and over on your bike, change to other things uh, that you may want to do as well later on, um, and this license is good for your bike as long as you own it. Uh, and you can also purchase other licenses if you wanted to do this, say, for a friend uh, for a discounted rate. But 13 seconds are up. We're going to turn our ignition back on, and we're going to move forward. Thank you so much.